Hey guys, it's Amy with Name to Plan, and today I am going through my April lineup. So you can see here I have basically three planners that I'm going to be walking you through and kind of showing you what I've got set up for April. Um, and so this will be just like my monthly update. Um, for a lot of my planners, I'm basically like keeping most of the same components, but really switching out different pieces of it um, and kind of like trying out different things month by month. Um, and so some of it will be exactly the same as previous months um, and some will be a little bit different. So let's just go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is actually um, move this down and show you kind of like how my catch-all works in conjunction with like the other two planners. So this is my catch-all. You can see here that I went ahead and um, I actually have like this protective covering on it. But um, it is this cover. I actually didn't realize it was like both of them. Okay, so um, this is the cover from the Let Go and Grow Sophisticated Florals um, planner, the 18 month planner. It starts in July, um, so I'm not actually using the planner yet, but I did love the cover. Um, and so um, I just love that cover. And I put this like frosted mat on top of it. This is actually, I think, a Dollar Tree. It is a Dollar Tree like cutting mat that I cut down to size. It's definitely not perfect. Um, these corners are so funny, but um, anyway, I cut it down so that way it just has a protective covering. So this cover here will last forever, I hope. Um, and then for both of these two planners, you can see here that I went ahead and put the, um, the metallic color I'm not sure what color they're calling it. It's just called metallic on the website. Um, but these are the Mickey metallic discs, um, metal discs, and they are just gorgeous. And I think just the covers together look so beautiful. So let's start here. And again, I'm going to go in, like show you in the catch all where things are housed. And then um, as I need to, I'll separate into these other two. OK, so we will start off with um, the catch all again, the cover, the discs. I have a little pouch here um, and this is a pouch that I got from Walmart. Um, this is um, from their all glam planner line, I believe. I actually don't really know. It's super dirty. You can see it's like not at all clean, um, but I actually used the bag. Inside here, I have some um, super simple tools. Like this is like transparent sticky notes. I know it looks white, but it's actually translucent, transparent. Um, it looks transparent when you put it on the paper, but it's translucent when I'm holding it up right here. Um, and I have that in there. Um, and then just like a couple of markers. Um, so that way I could write on the sticky notes. Um, so that's really all that's in that pouch. Um, eventually as this gets a little bit fuller, as April continues, I'll probably have to move this pouch, um, to the outside, um, and probably swing it to the back. So that way it's kind of sitting on the back. Okay, so that's the first one. And again, this is kind of the same setup that I've had um, for all of my previous months. I'm using a Franken planning system where I am kind of just sticking and, and you know moving months in and out. I only keep a month at a time for each section and I have eight sections in here. Um, and so this first section, um, again, I haven't labeled any of them, but this first section is my work section. And there's actually nothing in here. You can see here, it's just completely blank. It's just my, um, my kind of mental note to myself that um, I have a work planner that's being used. And so this is my work planner. Um, I actually brought this from work um, to show you because I did change up a couple of things. Um, this is the April divider. And what I decided to do was, I have a couple of like notes here. Um, um, so what I decided to do is just go ahead and switch completely to the dashboard layout. This is a big dashboard layout. Um, it's, I'm using some outdated pages. You can see here I already like kind of like whited out some of that and I haven't done the dates yet. I don't even, are these correct dates? No, these aren't the correct dates. So I'll white out these dates and um, before April rolls around so that way I can get started. Um, but what I was using previously was like a combination of like a teacher layout and a task list. Um, and I find that I found that it was just too much room. So then in March, I tried to reduce the amount of room, but then it was just too much of a reduction. So now I'm, I'm like back into like trying to figure out what's a good middle ground. And so I feel like this works for the events and this works for just a running to-do list. Um, and like I'm using the section um, as kind of a habit tracker. Um, so I think this will work. Uh, well, I hope it works. If not, then I'll be experimenting um, in the next couple of months. Um, April is my last full month at work. I'm a nine month employee. Um, and so I will be working June and July, um, but it's kind of a different setup. It's not like the full blown, like full time work that I do during the fall and spring semesters. Um, and so I feel like if I can't figure it out in April, I'll have to wait until August to kind of figure out um, my work system. But I have been enjoying the big planner. So the big size is really working. So I really like that. And I'll probably keep that size for work. And so that's my work planner, big dashboard layout. Let's go back here to my catch all. Um, and so that was my work section, which again has nothing in here. Um, every once in a while, I'll like have stuff that happens at work that needs to come home with me. Um, and I don't want to carry the entire planner. So I'll put in some filler paper and just kind of take notes there. But um, for the most part, work 
planner stays at work um, and this section stays empty. The next section is my personal section. Um, and so here is what I consider my actual catch-all, like where I write down everything. For me, the catch-all is where I take like, um, especially for like sections, like if I need to um, do something in my social media section, I'll make a note that I did, did some work in my social media planner and then go to my social media planner and just like do all the details. Um, but what I decided to do was um, I was using daily pages. I've been doing daily pages for all of this year, 2021. And I'm doing the same thing here with daily pages. Um, but what's gonna change up a little bit is I'm combining my daily pages with my wellness and gratitude. So I have pulled out here the Teresa Collins pages. Um, these are just the uh, front and back daily pages. There are none of the like the week of kind of pages that kind of like split up each of the weeks. It's just like straight through all like daily pages. And you can see here that I went ahead and put like these transparent um, sticky notes and see again, like that's what the Sharpie was worth. I'm putting the date here. It's Thursday the 1st. And then I'm putting notes here. Um, and what I'm thinking of doing is like, unless I run out of room, I'll probably just leave the, uh, the sticky note on here and then just journal kind of on the left hand side. So uh, this will be a chance for me to kind of like on this little right hand side, take notes um, and about my daily uh, events. And then right here, just kind of journal and do the, the wellness gratitude stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it. So the combination here of like daily wellness, and then um, I need a food log somewhere. So I'll probably convert like part of this into a food log. Um, but I want to be able to like again, like condense it a little bit. I'm still trying to experiment with what works best. Um, I did enjoy doing a separate like personal catch-all and a separate wellness gratitude journal. Um, but I also think it might work as a combined thing just because again, like there was just a lot of room that I was trying to fill in. And this is a good chance for me to kind of like reduce the amount of time that I'm spending in my planner just because there was a lot of writing and extra space. So I thought I needed to fill it all up. And so I have um, like 30 pages in here. And for some days I do have a sticky note already because I have work events or like personal events going on. And some days I don't have it, but as soon as I get an event, I just pull a sticky note, put it on here, date it, put the event on there. And that's pretty much it. So again, that's personal. It's also a combination of wellness. Um, and so you'll see a little bit later that I changed up the wellness section just a tiny bit. Right after my personal catch-all section is my budget section. So again, it's not labeled, but this is budget. And in March, I was using like this uh, a laminated sheet that I had like from a very, very old household extension pack. And I was thinking it was going to work, but it actually did not work that well be just because it didn't have the same breakdown as this sheet. So I decided for this month that I was going to use this one. This is from the second household extension pack. And I think the, the third one, the one that just released with the spring release is very similar to this. Just the colors are a little bit different, um, but I love this one. Um, it's just very neutral. I love this color. Um, like it's just nice and like clean and neat. Um, and I just enjoy that. Um, and so I did laminate it. You can see like it's catching the light, um, but it is laminated, but you can see here it's broken down into housing, transportation, insurance, food, children, taxes, personal care, entertainment, loans, savings, investments, um, and miscellaneous. Um, and so I'm just using those categories as is. A lot of what ends up happening is like, I fill out this miscellaneous um, section. And one of the things that in the March um, budget setup was like, I didn't have a section to track like my no spend areas. This is a good place for me to do some of that is to track the new spin stuff. All right. So that's pretty much that. Um, I included in here also like some of these like weekly spending sheets because I do need to track like my actual transactions um, on a regular basis. Like that sheet that I just showed you is really for my bills, like all the things that are just coming straight out of the account. Um, and then at the end of the month, I go back in and kind of total up all the transactions for the other categories that are not bills. Um, but here is a good chance for me to kind of like journal out like budgeting related um, thoughts um, and temptations and like talking about my no spend and how that's going. Um, if you've been following along, you know that I'm trying to do a no spend 2021 for planner supplies, trying to reduce, it's not so much like a no spend, but like trying to get back to like not spending like an insane amount of money um, and just trying to um, be more like mindful of how, how I spend and what I'm spending it on. Um, so this is like, for me to track all of that stuff. It's the same set of pages. So it's gonna be like this progress tracker, which is a weekly spending snapshot. Hopefully that's enough space each week. Then it's a, what can I do better next week? And then a note section. And then it has on the back, things I want, things I actually need. And then what event or cir circumstances coming up this week that I know I will need to spend money on? What can I do to adjust and save? And then what can I give up, say no to, or let go of this week? And then the no spend right here in the corner. And it's the exact same sheet, just like four or five times. I just pulled the exact same sheet. 
So that's my budget section. Um, then this next section was where my wellness was housed. Um, and so I mentioned earlier that I was thinking about adding the food log um, into the corner. Um, and so I still might do that. But I also, just in case I didn't like that, um, I included, again, this is laminated from the same household extension pack that uh, the budget sheet came from. Um, and so this was part of the like the meal planning section. Um, and again, I just laminated it. Um, it's a weekly meals plan um, with Monday through Sunday and then a grocery list on this side. And then uh, another list like a second grocery list and then on this side is snacks and quick bites and then recipe and meal prep um and so again laminated i just put it in here uh, and because like i had all of these other pieces of the household extension pack i did laminate this page as well to do daily chores and it didn't really fit anywhere else in here normally i have this in my home binder um, but because i had all of these other laminated sheets from the same set i decided to put this third one in here now if you're interested in this household extension pack i'll try to find a link for it um either on amazon or on hobby lobby or one of the uh, big craft store websites i think this is something that you can still pick up and the um the four sections for it are um i can't remember the order but there's definitely a budget a meal planning chores and then the fourth section is projects i didn't include any of the project pages um again that's like usually in my home binder um, but if i need it i would um, put it in probably this section at least for the month of april um, i might need to long term kind of come up with a better place to put home related notes um, in my franken planner okay so that is quote unquote wellness uh, it's mostly just like uh like a place to dump stuff now since wellness is being combined with my catch-all uh, for the month of April. Then right here is my birthday planner, um, my memory book for uh, my 40th birthday year. Now I'll just tell you, I pretty much gave up on that. Um, I did like two spreads total in the entire thing, January, February, and March. And so I've decided to just um, delete it. Um, I'm not using it. I did um, have like these pages, the month, uh, sorry, the like kind of like yearly overview pages um, that I am going to like go back and kind of like maybe jot down some notes from things. And these are the still the same list of things that I wanted to do. I did add book related, like reading related um, goals that I have for the entire year. Um, and I don't know if I've even achieved any of these things. I'm just going to go back and kind of sit and think about and reflect on whether I want to like back plan some of that or if I just want to move forward and like, you know, just decorate this first page and then just move forward and try to complete all of these things um, in the last you know, few months of the year. And so I have those pages and that's pretty much it. Um, I decided just to get rid of the rest of it. I was feeling like it was just too much to keep up with. I wasn't really enjoying the process as much as I thought it would to like memory keep for my birthday. Um, so I just got rid of it. Then this section is um, the section where I put Sophia's memory book. Um, whenever I feel like I need to travel or I, I want to travel and just carry one planner with me, I'll take the pages that I need from her book and put them in here. But for right now, you can see it's pretty much blank. So let me flip over here and show you. Um, the memory book, any memory book that I keep, it runs for the entire year. So this memory book is one that I will <clears throat> be using for the entire year. Um, and so let me go to April. April is um, this gorgeous... It's so cute, this divider. Um, and so this is an uh, like a seasonal, like 18 month vertical planner um, that I have been using since January. It was actually for like the 2020, 2021 year. And I just didn't use the first six months of it. I'm just using the last 12 months of it um, for her memory book. Um, and so this is the cover. This is the monthly page. This is where I put like photos. Um, so I just, I try to take photos, but I don't take photos every day, but I'll put a photo of her on here and just kind of like track some of the silly faces that she makes or like just things that she might be doing that can be explained just with a photo. And then this is where we do the like actual memory keeping. I don't actually put a lot of photos here. It's mostly like planner style where I'm decorating, putting big events for her. The photos go on the monthly. I'll uh, every once in a while I'll put a photo in here. And then um, I also in this section combined the, um, the vertical layout with like this kids layout, which you can't get anymore. It's like a super old release from like 2018, I believe. Um, but here I track like some of these like more like functional type things, right? So um, we will like track her feelings. Um, she doesn't actually read herself. She's not quite old enough she's, since she's four. She's working on words, but she's not quite to the level of like reading independently. Um, so we actually don't track minutes read, um, but I will put like quotes, things that she's done. And then one of the things I'm thinking about doing for April, and I might go back and do this for some of March too, is I'm not taking as many photos and not writing down as much, uh, as many quotes as I thought I would. So I might go back and like print out photos of like her artwork and and kind of post the the artwork in here as well as like kind of like a scrapbook or like you know just like a visual kind of um 
representation of the things she said and the things that she's drawn. Um, so that might be something I do in April. Um, so that's the memory book. We're getting really close, guys. I use so many planners. That's why like these videos are always so long. So that goes here. And again, like I normally just leave it in its own little setup over there. But if I like am traveling somewhere, like on vacation, or if I'm just going to someone else's house where we're having a planner date, I just wanna be able to combine it, then I will put it in this section. And then the second to last section here is my social media planner. This has changed. So what I've been using for January, February, and March was aligned vertical, but I decided this time that I was gonna uh, do something a little bit different. And so, let's skip the page, I think. Um, so I decided to switch here to like a color block student layout. Um, I did pick like a, like a set of months that are like, correctly dated so I just whited out all the, the months up here um, but what I'm going to do is I think that I'm going to like split it up and kind of um, categorize and and be a little bit more intentional about like getting my posts for YouTube getting Instagram done um, making sure that I'm tracking my Facebook um, groups a little bit better and so I'm using some of that some of this area to kind of do that. Um, my goal, I'm hoping, is to be able to post um, at least three uh, times a week for YouTube and Instagram um, but that that's just the goal. Um, and I try not to uh, do anything much on Saturday and Sundays. That's like more so like time for me to kind of plan and, and do things off camera. Um, but anyway, I'm just thinking that this would be good for me to kind of categorize a little bit more instead of having just like a running list, which is what I was doing in previous months. That worked out, but it was also a little bit hard to kind of read like, you know, I couldn't track across like time how my all my YouTube and Instagram stuff was kind of working together. It was just all kind of mixed up. So I'm hoping this will work a little bit better. And that is a big change. And then this last section is faith. Faith, I have, again, still not figured it out. So what I did was stuck in a bunch of like super outdated horizontal pages. I think I'm gonna go back to just journaling. And what I'm gonna do is just ignore the dates. Instead of trying to stick with dates, I'm just gonna use boxes as I need to. Um, and so this box, even though it says Friday 12th, whatever it is, I'll just white it out, put a sticker down there, put the date, um, and then do some journaling um, and prayer lists and, um, any praise reports that I have and just kind of journal it out um, and not worry so much about like having a full spread for each week. Just do it as I need to. Um, I just tend to fall, like honestly, like I work so much during the week that I tend to just fall out of the habit during the weekdays um, of, of like writing out some of these things. Um, and so then I spend a lot of time on the weekends feeling like I need to catch up and I just don't want it to be a burden to myself. So I, I will just do what I can in whatever order that works best. That's what I'm thinking will work. I kept in here like these like pages. These are not from a happy planner planner. Um, they're from like a, like a journal from, from Walmart. Um, and I just, put these in here just in case I wanted to do like some like more free form journaling. Um, I have been using these for sermon notes too. So that has been um, kind of helpful. I actually did it for like one set of sermon notes, um, which I think I took out of my March planner, but that's what I've been doing for faith. Um, and again, like I still haven't settled on a great system there for faith, but that is April. Again, mostly the same mostly the same, but there have been a couple of big changes. And again, one of the big things for me that I like to do is just kind of experiment with different things. And so like every month is might be something different, right? And in fact, some months I might change even within the month, um, which is kind of how my March went for, especially my work planner. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing these videos. I love hearing people's thoughts about like how they set up their system. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed them too. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel and until the next video. Bye guys.